Yo, what is up, guys? It is your boy Mayan, aka Mental Oriental, aka Hawaii. It doesn't matter. I'm down with whatever. Welcome back to another video. So, as you guys see by the gameplay, we are playing some beasts from um, the Beast from Beyond. Um, we are doing it on Director's Mode. This is my last map that I need to do in Director's Mode. I did all the other maps in Director's Mode, and this is the only one I need to do in order to go to the Super Easter Egg. Which I've been grinding out for for like the past week, I believe. So I, I the only Easter eggs I done was Space Line and Rave. So I had to do Shaolin. I had to do Attack, and I had to do this map in order to get into Director's Cut. And then once there, I gotta do everything all over again. But um, <coughs> I told myself, you know, I played this map through, and I, I think it's just so awesome and so easy to do everything with all your perks and 25 grand to start. You can open up the whole map in round one, and I actually did all the prerequisites to going to the boss fight by round two. So the end of round two, I did Neil's head. You guys will see that in the gameplay as well. And um, <coughs> I told myself I'm gonna do a speed run, the fastest I could possibly do this map um, in director's mode, and. I, I pretty much did it. It was flawless. I did everything perfect. Round two, ready to go. And all I needed was to pack punch, my, um, get the candles out of the box. Now, I had everything set up. I had everything planned. I had my pack magic ready to go. In case I got the candles, I could hit that card and it would double pack my candles. That way, it would save me 10 grand in exchange of, you know, it would save me time. I also have coupon clipper to pack a punch my VPR, which is another double pack my you know, VPR, which is another 10 grand, which would save me time and money. So um, everything was planned out. All I had to do was get the candles out of the box. Lee Ross said, nope, that ain't happening, bro. So um, as you guys will see later on in the gameplay, I I, I do the whole steps. I believe I did everything. Put dropping Neil's head into the um pack a punch and everything, and everything's gonna be ready to go. And um I'm I'm gonna start hitting the box now. Before I get into the whole story and then the, the you know the nitty gritties, make sure you guys smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more Call of Duty content. World War Two is right on the right around the corner, boys. I know you guys are excited as I am. Um, I'm kind of getting over zombies already. I know I still got to do this Easter egg on director's cut as well as the super Easter egg, but I'm kind of feeling PUBG. Um, like I said in my last videos, I just got my computer back working. And I really want to, you know, use it again. So I'm thinking about playing some PUBG, but I'm not sure yet what, what I'm going to do. But, um, anyways, so this, as you guys see now, still round two, still round two, right? I'm still in round two, going to drop Neil's head into the pack of punch and then we're going to go from there, trying to work and getting the candles. But, um, that, that just did not... 100% did not go the way that I expected it to go. Now, mind you that in my head, I'm thinking that RNG, was it RNG? No, random number. Yeah, RNG is going to hit me at least with at least two or three rounds. Three rounds max to get the candles, right? It's going to take me at least three rounds to get the candles. So I'm saying, you know, that's fine. Round five, that's pretty good still yet. You know what I mean? So once I drop Neil's head into there, I start working on the box. Now, I had one Black Friday. I didn't replenish my cards. I used my Black Friday once. Now that went that went out the door real quick. Now as you guys see in your top right hand corner, I'm on round 17. And that's not even that's not even it, bro. I'm just showing you like a majority of the time that I spun the box. I had to trace this box down. I think it was 13 times 14 times i had to run around this fucking map looking for this fucking box the grand total i this case so slow down mine so breakdown by the time i started the game to finishing the kneel step kneel in the head of the pack a punch step it took me 22 minutes to do now at the end of this video after trying to go for the kendall's it was at an hour and 45 minutes i spun the box in this match 56 times which is a total of like 50 what is it like 53,000 around 53 grand i spent on the box trying to get the candles guys and i the 17 is i am just showing you guys you know how much i tried and i didn't get it i went up to round 19 before getting the candles down in that water electric room round 19 from round two now this is supposed to be a speed run and I ended up going to the boss fight on round 19. And I'll get into the boss fight in a little bit. But it took me 17 whole rounds to get the fucking candles. 
I just thought that's ridiculous. He, uh, Lee Ross completely screwed me on that one. It was absolutely, I was so heated. Like at round 10, I told myself I'm over it. Right? I'm just going to dashboard, keep my feet in fortune cards, and just stop playing for the day. But after a while, it started to humor me. Like I cannot believe the shit is actually happening. So I continued in going. Now this is at round 11. So I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to get in the next couple rounds. It's not going to be too bad. I went up to round 19 trying to get this fucking stupid candles and i haven't found another way to do this easter egg yet i've i've heard people using the howitzer i've heard people not even taking in the candles using the mauler and the vpr but um i've tried the the claw fate and fortune card that didn't even dent them i think it tickled them at the very most but um it just w doesn't work i beat it first time with my candles and vpr double pack so i just wanted to do that again at least it's, it's like a security thing so that's what it is um and I didn't really want to go for anything else at the time. I just wanted to do that because I was trying to do a speed run. But then after a while, I just got over it. And, you know, that is that. Long story short. But I just wanted to show you guys how much the wheel, magic wheel, actually... It can benefit you. You can get it in one pool. Or it can take you 17 rounds to get it. And I, I thought it was just so funny. I wanted to share with all of you guys. And <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy the video. So, But the video right here is going to be getting the candles. And I didn't even beat the boss fight. Just so you guys know, I didn't beat the boss fight. I killed one of the blue rhinos. And then that was it. I died right after that. Because my dumb ass didn't get in that, that Fate and Fortune card that acts like a quick revive. Yeah, I didn't put that in because I had Pack Magic and Coupon Clipper. So... I went down um, twice in the boss fight. I was furious. I was flaming. I dashboarded out. And there it is. Finally, I got the candles. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys. It was fucking hilarious. Um, I got trolled by Infinity Ward and this game. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. This is your boy Mine, aka Mentor Oriental, aka Hawaii. It doesn't matter. I'm done with whatever. Thank you very much for tuning back in. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.